bedtime for me. I've eaten, I've drunk a lot of water and I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, day 26, let's do this. Hey, hey, so I didn't actually get a chance to vlog this morning because you know what, I just felt the worst I've probably felt all Ramadan. Um, I've had like two hours sleep. I just wasn't feeling great last night after Sehari and I was just tossing and turning. I just couldn't sleep. And then before you know, my alarm's going off and I just, I had to drag myself out of bed and I just couldn't bear to pick up the camera and actually vlog because I'll be honest with you, I just wasn't in a good place. I was on the verge of tears, it was that bad. And I think it was a combination of obviously I've not slept. On top of that, I just wasn't feeling 100%. Um, as the day has gone on, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, I, I feel much better. Um, I just, I don't even know what happened to me this morning. I genuinely don't know. It just, I can't even explain it. I just can't explain it. I'm gonna be heading home real soon and I'm definitely gonna enjoy be catching up on some kip because it's, it's definitely needed, trust me. Um, but other than my rocky start this morning, Day 26, is it? Is going pretty good. Hey people, so that is day 26 complete, alhamdulillah. The fast itself was interesting. As you guys know, I had such a rocky start this morning, like I couldn't even vlog. I usually vlog heading to the car, just wasn't happening. Um, yeah, but alhamdulillah, we completed it. I'm gonna be moving into day 27. Um, there's something I want to talk about today. So today I want to talk about good deed of the day, but it's not going to be the good deed of the day that I've done. I want to talk about a good deed of the day that my friend has done. Warning, this next bit when I tell you, it may melt your heart. Okay, so you guys know my friend Aisha, right? So there was an article in the newspaper that she saw and the article was um, about a little girl who has difficulty walking and somebody had broken into... I think the house, or was it the garage, one of those. And they stole her Segway, which is a special adapted Segway for her, just to kind of accompany her in kind of being a little bit more independent, being able to actually go to the shops, being able to go with her friends, coming back, and so on. She's only a little girl. And somebody had stolen it, which is really sad. I just saw this article. And obviously any of us would, would feel strongly felt that this was unacceptable and wanted to do all she can to help this little girl and what she did is she actually got in touch with the newspaper gave her contact details asked them to pass it on to the girl's mum the mum then rang Aisha and Aisha just straight up said look I've read this article it's unacceptable what happened I want to buy the little girl a brand new Segway at which point the mum started crying down the phone um, and was just in disbelief that somebody actually wants to buy a Segway and you know she's just received this call from this person who's just like right give me the details I'll, I'll get it for her and the reason I'm telling you this is because this right here is what Islam is about this right here if you're in a position to help somebody then you should and that's what Islam encourages and it just filled my heart with so much love and you know Aisha doesn't know I'm, I'm talking about this in my vlog so she's probably going to be telling me off later when she sees the vlog. Um, Aisha I know you watch my vlogs I'm sorry if you're getting embarrassed but I just wanted to share this because this is what Islam's about and you know what I am so proud to call you my friend right now I really really am um, without the risk of sounding soppy and getting <laughs> over emotional I'm just so proud that I have friends like you in my life and you really are an awesome person and you know what, hats off to you, credit where credit's due, I know you've not done it for that, you've done it because you felt so strongly about this and you want it to make a difference and Alhamdulillah you're in a position to be able to help and that's why you did this but I still just want to take a moment and say do you know what, you are an awesome person and you make me proud to call you my friend. So the little girl should inshallah have her segue either tomorrow or maybe the day after. Um, obviously Aisha will be kept up to date and when she's kept up to date, I will keep you guys up to date. The next time I'm with Aisha, we are going to talk about this and I just want to share that with you guys because I'm talking about good deeds and I just think that was just an amazing deed. I mean, you know, whether it's a big deed or a small deed, a good deed is a good deed at the end of the day. But 
I was just so touched by what she did. I just felt so strongly about this and I just wanted to tell you guys, it just kind of restores your faith in humanity, doesn't it? It really, really does. I mean, something awful has happened to this little girl and that was something so negative. And then Aisha's come along and allows allowed Aisha to be able to make a difference, a positive difference in this girl's life again. You know, this is just a true representation of what Islam teaches us, you know. It teaches us to help one another, it teaches us to be there for one another, and it teaches us that if we're in a position to be able to make a positive difference, then we should. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm going to get going, I'm going to edit and upload this vlog for you amazing people. And I will see you guys in the beginning of day 27. Ramadan. Don't